that. I'm just going to put it out of the way. So there, all your efforts for naught. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to dance with it first. Anyway, guys, I just got married this past October. Yeah. Now, uh, this is my uh, second marriage. Anybody here divorced? Anybody? Here? Okay. Anybody here wishes they were divorced? <laughs> well, uh, my first husband's name was Tom. Does anybody want to guess what my current husband's name is? Tom. That is correct. Which is very convenient for me because I don't have to worry about whose name I call out during sex. <laughs> but you know, my friends have found it confusing. And uh, they're big fans of the Terminator movies, so they started calling my first husband T1 and my second husband T2. <laughs> and uh, one of them asked me, they said, Sandy, if this doesn't work out, is there going to be a T3? And I'm like, nope. If there's a T3, it's going to be T3, Rise of the Machines. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you. I'm glad you guys are laughing. My current husband doesn't think I'm funny. <laughs> but, but, that's right. Now, I, you know, we've been together for, uh, for 12 years, and uh, he's gotten to live the Sandy Bernstein experience, so... Maybe that has something to do with it, but uh, this past October, I don't want to say that I dragged him down the aisle, but I did have to build a strong business case. Uh, you see, I work for the state of Maryland, and I had to convince him just how much money he would be saving on his health insurance. <laughs> but I didn't think this thing through, because now that we're married and he's saving hundreds of dollars every month, he's told me I can't quit or lose my job because that would be breach of contract and grounds for divorce. <laughs> so now I'm trapped in a marriage and a job. <laughs> that's okay, guys. I mean, I'm just kidding. That's not true. I, I mean, I love my job. <laughs> anyway, my boss is pretty cool, but sometimes I feel sorry for her because I would not want to have me as an employee. Let me give you an example. One day, it happened to be April 20th. I strolled into work. <laughs> I strolled into work at the stroke of my 15 ish. And she was like, Sandy, you're late. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm sober. <laughs> and I should get brownie points for that, seeing as it's 420 day. Yes, sir. Okay. And she's like, Sandy, this comedy thing has taken over your life. You're not taking your work seriously anymore, especially your deadlines. And I'm like, that's not true. I live and breathe deadlines. I love deadlines. I love them so much that after a while, I start missing them. <laughs> She's like, Sandy, are you trying to get yourself fired? I'm like, well, a person's got to have goals and objectives, right? <laughs> okay, well, in spite of myself, I am still employed, and I still have that health insurance. So I try to keep up with my medical appointments especially ones that have to do with my lady parts. Yeah, because I have to tell you, you know, the female reproductive system is very complicated. It's not like guy stuff. I mean, guys are very straightforward. It either works or it doesn't. It's like a Ford on Honda, okay? Right? But women, we're more like Jaguar. You know, very temperamental. I mean, we're a luxury brand. What can I say? So anyway, um, a few months ago, I go to get my mammograms, I'm filling out the paperwork, and they want to know the date of my last period. And I'm thinking, why do they need to know that? It's not like they're doing work down there. I mean, I mean okay, well, my boobs do hang low, but that, that's not anything to do with this. Right, so I'm trying to remember, right? I mean, you know, I mean, if I had known my Aunt Flo was leaving town for the last time, I'd have made that a red letter day and thrown her a going away party. Yeah. I mean, so like, date of last period, I mean, God, I don't know, like the Bush administration? <laughs> no, 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 not, not George W., we're talking Herbert Walker. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, so you know what I finally settled on, okay? I wrote uh, for date of last period, I wrote when dinosaurs roamed the earth. <laughs> okay? Well, my lab tech thought that was hilarious, but that turned out not to be a good thing. Okay, ladies, let me give you some advice here. Do not make your lab technician laugh or distract her in any way because she will fuck up your mammogram. <laughs> and guys, that is exactly what happened to me. A couple days later, I get a call from the radiology place and they're like, you gotta come back, we found something suspicious. And I was like freaking out. I was like, 
I can't have breast cancer. Tick Taro owns that space. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just how sick I am. Um, tur turned out to be nothing, thank goodness. Just, just a bad image. But that just goes to show you that some jokes, some laughs, just are not worth it. Okay? So you know what's a real pain in the butt, quite literally, is the gynecologist. Uh, and ladies, I have to warn you, once you turn 40, you get a finger up the ass. Oh. Yeah, that came as a rather rude awakening to me. But then it gets worse. As you get older, um, your body changes down there and the lining of your vagina gets thinner. And, and suddenly the exam becomes very uncomfortable, okay? And so the last time I was there, the doctor like put in the speculum and started to open it. And she had to peel me off the ceiling. I'm like, Jesus Christ, woman, are you trying to open a golf umbrella in there? What? And she's like, hmm, somebody's going through menopause. And I'm like, thank you, Dr. Obvious. Yeah. Well, you know, all of a sudden that finger off the butt isn't looking so bad. But anyway, she sent me home with some literature. I got the uh, Menopause Guidebook, 7th edition, to help midlife women make informed healthcare decisions. And she had bookmarked a page for me. It was the section on vaginal atrophy. So apparently, there's a medical term to describe my dried up on cooter. <laughs> but you know what, it made me long for the good old days when I would leave the gynecologist's office with pamphlets like straight talk on STDs, coping with chlamydia, <laughs> and my favorite, bacterial vaginosis, where the rubber meets the raw. <laughs> okay, on that very inspiring note, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys, you've been awesome. My name is Sandy Erickson. Sandy Bernstein, everybody, give it up for her one more time. Yes. God bless you, Sandy Bernstein.